There are questions surrounding police judgment, and there have been all week. They plagued Minnesota officers. On more than one occasion, calls to investigate suspicious activity have led to the use of force. That's a public area, and if there's no sign that doesn't say this is a private area, you can't sit here, so no one can tell me I can't sit I there. If that's know. the case, then the I can't sit was, here. The problem, there is no, the problem is I'm black. That's the problem. <laughs> Chris Lawley shot this video as St. Paul police arrested him in a skyway in January. Lawley refused to give his name to officers. Police say that they used their tasers after he pulled away and did not comply with their orders. Reg Chapman has more from a use of force expert on how situations like this could be avoided. Who I am isn't the problem. It's the question many want answered. Do you have to comply when a police officer asks to see your identification? You have to produce your ID, especially under those circumstances. They were called to investigate a suspicious person call. Retired Golden Valley police officer Joe Dutton is a use of force expert. He says when officers are called out to investigate a suspicious person, it is their duty to find out who that person is and why they are there. When you start debating the police and you start get, becoming non-compliant, you're telling the police that you have something to hide and they want to find out what you're hiding. Dutton says officers have contact with hundreds of thousands of people daily and most interactions end without the use of force. He says when officers are called to check out a suspicious person, they do not have time to gauge who they are going to make contact with. They just investigate whoever is considered suspicious, as in the case in Ramsey, where officers had to check on suspicious persons in a car in the parking lot of a daycare. The individual fled from that vehicle. Officers pursued the individual at this point displayed a gun as far as I know. At that point in time, that's a deadly force issue. Okay. I don't have to let you know who I am if I had In Chris Lawley's case, Dutton I believes if he had shown him. his ID, there would have been no use of force by police. He does not believe Lawley's race is an issue in this case. It would have happened if, no matter what the race of the individual was. The St. Paul Police Federation issued a statement in support of the actions of the officers in the January incident. Lawley's attorney said he will file a civil rights lawsuit in federal court.